Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. And today's video we are doing part three of four of this giant 200 pound thread up rescue box unboxing. So if you have not seen part one and two, I will link them down in the description box. Although it doesn't really matter which way you watch these videos um, because every video I am opening up one of the four boxes. So I probably do a little bit better of a job explaining this in the other two videos, but essentially I paid 300 in, I think it was $86 for this 200 pounds, which means that this box, which is 50 pounds, is about $100 worth of clothing that I have purchased. So will I make my money back? We will see. I'm pretty sure I will. Um, but also in full disclosure, um, as I've said in the other videos, um, I have very quickly kind of rifled through this stuff just to get a feel of what I'm looking for so that I can better put my words um, kind of out there onto the camera. I did film one of these videos six or so months ago and I think I really struggled to just like speak, just say what I was thinking and say what I was like looking at as well. So I have really quickly gone through everything but that was well over a week ago when these boxes arrived. I'm only now sitting down actually pulling stuff out because I'm ready to start photographing and putting them into my inventory system. So I was like let me f film this video again, not again, but let me film this video showing what I got before I actually start really going through everything. So let's do it. The other two boxes were okay. I think this box is kind of, if I remember, I don't remember anything super like standout-ish, um, maybe one or two things, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually really excited because I hardly remember like anything in this box. All right, so very first thing, not super, I'm not upset with this uh, piece. I think it'll actually be a pretty good sell. Um, it's a new look size 2X faux leather jacket. I think that this style of jacket, whether it's real leather or faux leather, is very good. Um, you know, it's very like in style. It's got all the zippers, all the snap buttons. Um, it looks in excellent condition as well. None of that like peeling or cracking or like weird like texture that you get with a faux leather. So I'm super happy with this one. I'm assuming Threda probably rejected it because it was faux leather, um, but I'm happy to sell this one. I think that it will sell really well. Um, this is a loft size medium. Looks just like a um, basic kind of like pullover, lightweight. I would say it's a sweater. It's more of a top, although it does have these cute little like um, sleeves that give a little bit of like a poof here and then a cuff down here. I will definitely see and look up comps for this one. I feel like this is definitely sellable. Probably won't get too much for it, but it does look like a newer style. Let me see. It's 100% cotton. Uh, spring 2021. So definitely newer style. I will definitely list this one. I think that's totally sellable. Moving on, we have a pair of Tommy Hilfiger size 10. It looks like just navy blue chino shorts. I feel like, is this camera zoomed in? It is. Okay, I was like, why do I feel like it's like closer all of a sudden? Okay, there we go. Let's do that. Navy blue shorts. As long as the zipper works, which it looks like it does, maybe a little bit of wash wear. This is a maybe. I will look up these ones. If I feel like I could sell them for 15 to 20, then I will. Uh, but they do look like they have a little bit more wear than I would like. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't totally discount selling these for sure. Uh, this is an H&M, the same uh, log brand, size 12. Um, button down with like these mini stripes. Once again, I could try and sell this, but um, maybe, maybe not. I don't think that this is really a substantial enough piece. This is a loft size six petite. See, this looks very similar to something I got in the other box. Um, an all over lace dress, black lace dress. Uh, this is nice. It actually looks in relatively good condition. A couple like dog hairs and stuff that I could lint roll. Um, size 6 petite. Uh, I don't hate this. I don't hate this at all. I will definitely try and sell this. 
lovely. So it's um, the limited size six polyester skirt. It has kind of like these sheer bits at the bottom and like the stripes are a little sheer, but I'm seeing quite a few pulls kind of running across. So this one will probably go to a thrift store. I'm not gonna bother with that. Next up, we have an Ann Taylor Loft size eight modern straight corduroy pant. I like a tan color. Um, I am seeing a little bit of dirt marks on the back. Maybe some like red marks up here. I could try and wash these. I do think that they would sell. A lot of people do like corduroy. Um, what I did, I think I explained this in the last video. So I'm getting confused on what I said in what video. Um, so basically what I do when I get like um, a bunch of inventory or like a bunch of stuff given to me or I like thread up boxes like this, what I do is I start making piles. Um, so I'll make a pile of stuff to wash, a pile of stuff to um, like soak in OxyClean. So with a lot of this stuff, I'm gonna start putting it in piles. And until I have like a large collection of things, like, okay, I'm gonna do a giant, big wash and see if the stains or whatever's wrong with it will come out. But those items that I'm washing, I'm not gonna spend time trying to get every little stain out and every little mark out. And that's the same with this stuff. Um, what I'll probably do, put it in the um, bag to wash it. But if the stains don't come out after a good wash or a good OxyClean soak, um, I'm not gonna spend time trying to get every little stain out. It'll mo the, my time would be better spent just uh, setting this off to a thrift store and then reinvesting or taking that time and using it towards something else. But these don't look like super bad stains. Like probably just wash them and they'll come right out. So that being said, uh, not terrible. They do besides just a couple like dirt marks and that one little red speck at the back here, they actually look really good condition. So cool, loft, uh, like corduroys. And I don't hate selling loft. I actually like kind of like loft stuff like loft and like banana republic it's not like the worst stuff in the world like a lot of it sells pretty fast for me if it's like a newer style um but this is banana republic a white uh off the shoulder dress i can see it has pockets and i'm seeing okay it's not a stain a little a small stain down here at the bottom if there's nothing major on here, I will look it up. Um, it kind of feels just like a cheap, like a polyester, but um, I'll have to look up comps for this one, but I'm seeing a couple small marks on it. So it may go to a thrift store. It may not be worth the time to try and get those stains out of that white material. Um, this one, another loft size medium. This is like a, like a halter blouse got this cool like color blocking pattern on it this one will definitely need a steam um it does look like it has a little bit of stress in like the fabric right here i'll have to steam it and see kind of what condition it's in it's kind of hard to tell when it's so wrinkled but i could list this one but i really wouldn't expect more than like 15 dollars if that um this one something with like faux pearls on it this is divided from h&m size medium just a, a black top with these ruffles and these faux pearls um not terrible probably won't end up listing this one but maybe it does have some nice things going for it with the with the ruffles and the pearls so potential i'll look it up but i'm not hopeful um what have we got all right, J. Crew size four, some sort of trouser pant, size tag, not size tag, uh, style tag has been cut out. Um, these actually look good. These are like a wide leg crop pant. Need a lint roll, maybe a small, no, just like a little dirt right there. Yeah, these are nice. I can totally sell these guys. I like selling these sort of like. Uh, high waist wide leg trouser pants. I think they sell really well. This is a Tommy Hilfiger size 10. Now I had a Tommy Hilfiger at the beginning. I don't, I think that one was a size 12 though. If they're the same size, I might actually bundle these two together. Um, cause, but I don't know if they were the same size or not. 
Um, I'm not seeing any obvious flaws. You know, it is a little bit dark outside. It's not like the brightest right now. So I'd have to look under the lights, but I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. Um, so give them a good steam and they should be ready to sell. Could maybe get 15 bucks for those, but I really wouldn't expect them to sell like super quickly or anything. Uh, next up, Tommy Hilfiger size eight. You know, I had a couple of these and like the other one. So this is a kind of like an A-line dress, black dress. It has this white um, edging on the sleeves, like a tiered edging, which I think is so cute. Back zipper, like an A-line type of dress. I think this is very cute. I think this will definitely sell. So I'm happy to sell that. Um, this is a pair of loft. They feel like leggings, actually. There's no year on these. Normally there is a year on here. Okay. Um, loft leggings, size medium. These are sellable. They look really nice. They look in really good condition as well. Um, I'm happy with these. I don't hate these at all. Nice. Okay. This, this looks rough. Uh, Zara. Okay. Is it any sort of special... Let me just check here, gather my thoughts for a sec. Okay, so polyester. So this is a Zara um, coat that, if you can tell, has, sorry, I can hear this box is probably so annoying, you can probably hear it, um, so much pilling and just like texture everywhere. So this one, now if it was like a wool or like a wool blend, I would probably take the time to try and take some of the pilling off. But because it's 100% polyester, this one is going to go, I would say to the thrift store, but it probably needs to go into the trash. I mean, look, look at these sleeves. They look really bad. I mean, just total like, totally textured, not even close to being even good pre-owned condition. So that one will probably be... Uh, trashed if not like maybe go to the thrift store maybe okay uh j crew size eight uh this one looks good so this is a black lace like all over black lace uh black like all over eyelet dress what is that i saw oh it's just like the way that the bust is sewn in uh the sleeves are slightly sheer but the bust is lined mini dress I'm happy with this. I think this will totally sell. Um, obviously the problem with getting these boxes is that I do notice that you do get a lot of like all black pieces and all white pieces. And I don't know if just cause they think they don't sell as well or they're harder to photograph, which I think that they are harder to photograph. Um, but um, sometimes like with all black and all white pieces, I'll try and look for stock photos a little bit. And I do think that that helps. People can see it modeled. Um, J Crew. I'm trying not to use as many stock photos. I think I talked about this in one of my previous videos. Oh, this is cool. But sometimes you really do need a stock photo to display something accurately. Um, this is cool. So J Crew. it's a set. This, like, white, white, gosh, I can't even speak. Um, yellow velvet set. So you have this tank top in a size, what I say? This is a size two. So you have the tank and then we have the pants. Now the pants are a size too petite. So interesting. Um, like track pants. This is so, it's like a whole set. So I'll definitely try and sell these ones. They're gonna need some more research for sure. Uh, they look good. They look in relatively good condition. So I am, don't hate it. Next up, Calvin Klein. It looks like size tag is missing. Floral blouse. Um, yeah, I'm seeing there's a couple stains here on the neckline. This one will probably just get donated. I don't think that I'd really get anything out of this one. Let's see. What is this? Another divided by H&M. Just like a, it's almost like a, it's probably like a sweater dress. This one will probably also get donated. Next, this is... Uh, Banana Republic factory size large this blue dress. This one is cute. It's a nice floral print especially that we're moving into spring and summer weather. Let me see if there's a date on here. 
um yeah spring 2021 it's even got a style name and a style number so i will look this one up and look at some comps but more than likely i will list this one unless there's anything majorly wrong with it which i'm not seeing so i am happy with this piece get that one listed this one looks interesting so this is a levi's light wash denim jacket um I think that I can actually sell this one. It does definitely have, you know, some wear. I mean, the cuffs are all worn over here. They're all a little bit yellow. This one is definitely was not made like this. It's definitely been worn in like this. Um, if I could find a date on it, it would be a lot easier to sell. But it says made in USA, which is a really good sign. Um, there's a whole bunch of numbers here. Maybe one of these numbers means something. Um, gonna need some more research for sure, but I am super happy with this. Um, I feel like it could definitely sell. Now, if I sold clothing on like Depop or some of the other, I don't even know, some of the other platforms that are more geared to like vintage stuff, I could get a little bit more, but um, I'm just probably just gonna list it on Poshmark and eBay like I normally do um, in Mercari, um, but yeah, so. Yes, uh, H&M, this guy's going straight to a thrift store. Super pilled, super yellow, super stained. Um, sometimes I question why people send this stuff into thrift shops, I mean, to, into thread up, but oh well, <laughs> now it's here. Uh, this is a Vince Camuto size petite, small, like all over, kind of silver sequined top. It's got like a zip all the way up and down the back. Uh, this one is sellable. It's not something that I would pick up at the bins, but I feel like um, if I do the right keywords, um, this could definitely be like a nice, there's a couple pink threads everywhere, a nice like going out outfit or going out top. Um, I don't hate it as long as there's no like major patches of sequins missing, which I'm not seeing any. So yeah, don't hate it. Don't love it. I can sell it though. Cool. Next up this one feels oh madewell okay this is an older madewell tag um i'll just show it's not the newest one i don't even know if it's the second newest one it's one of the older ones uh madewell striped mini dress it's, uh, oh it's got pockets in the front too all right this guy actually looks pretty good because it's an older style it probably won't sell for that much um, maybe like probably looking at under $30, maybe more like 20, 25. I don't see anything majorly wrong. I don't see any major stains or anything. So yeah, I'm happy. Uh, this is Gap size two. It is, actually this is really pretty. This is a black, really silky like satin dress. Another black, once again, you know, this is something there's, I don't, doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. 2017 structured fit true black v-neck i'm guessing mini dress yeah i will totally sell this one lovely and it's got pockets oh my gosh so this is why things are so deceiving sometimes like these brands this feels like not super great material doesn't feel like the great it's not terrible but it's not like the best material but it's a new tags size loft size loft new tags loft size eight um retail for 65 dollars that even looks like a sale sticker on here that's not even like the original price there is a style name under there i may take the sticker off to see the style um cheetah skirt it's got like these little uh inserts for added movement but cute i will definitely sell this one um even though i personally don't like the material um it's new with tags it's loft um it's like an animal print. I think it's got a lot going for it. So I will sell it. Uh, seven for all mankind. Interesting. These, these feel really weird. Uh, size 25. So it's a size zero. They are these black, like velvet pants. Skinny pants. Uh, I'll look up comps for these. More than likely these will get listed. I don't want to just send something like this off to the thrift store. But they feel they're like almost shimmery as well like a shimmery black like stretch jean interesting all right not terrible not great um no idea what those would retail for obviously seven for all mankind is a really good brand um, or decently good brand um but if it's a really old style probably won't sell for that much 
Uh, this is a Forever 21, looks like a, like a tie top sleeves. I could sell this one, but probably would only get 10 to 15 bucks for it. Probably closer to 10. So this one might go to a thrift store. Uh, same with this one, H&M's Divided, size zero, just like a, a top floral. It is cute, but, you know, I don't even know if it would be worth the $10 that I could maybe get for it. Uh, Gap Skinny Stretch Size, no size? Size 3332, so these are men's jeans. Uh, yeah, these look nice. Just men's gap jeans. Oh, is that? I'm assuming they're supposed to be like this. All like torn and chewed up at the bottom. Let me look at the other one. Uh, this one's like straight across. Oh no, but it does have a little bit here. I don't really know. It could be like intentionally all cut and chewed, chewed, chewed up like this. <laughs> Uh, we'll have to look, look at that one, but if it's, if it is supposed to be like that, we can definitely sell them because they, otherwise they look in really good condition. So I'm happy with those. Next up, we have a Tommy Hilfiger extra large plain white v-neck tee. I honestly have no idea how much they go for. I know Tommy Hilfiger is not like a very expensive brand at all on the resale uh, market. So this one will probably just get donated, but I'll look it up and see if they're even worth anything. Uh, this one, so this is, so this is a brand, it's called Talentless. Uh, very, not like, not like a designer brand or anything, but it can be a very expensive brand. Sorry, I keep trying to focus on my face. Uh, can be a very expensive brand. However, these shorts look rough. They look really like discolored, not discolored, they just look like faded. Like they're, I don't know if they were supposed to be white or supposed to be cream, but they're definitely cream now. Um, they're pilled, they have a lot of wash wear. Um, but these ones will probably just get donated. I really don't like selling things that are in like bad condition and I think those are in bad condition. Um, this is Forever, size three, so it's a juniors. Juniors, maybe low rise, wide leg or a flare pant. Um, I would say probably I'll just donate these, although wide leg, low waist type pants are coming back into style, but because it's a size three, it's a juniors, I probably will just donate this one. Next is another J. Crew. It's this one's J. Crew size four. It's like this teal dress. This is cute. I don't hate this one. I probably wouldn't have picked this one up. It does feel there's a couple of, like specks and like dirt and stuff on the front. Well, not even. It's just like pieces of leaves. What is that? It feels like a wool, which is like, yeah, 38% wool. It is 2012, so over 10 years ago. But 38% wool, that's interesting. So I'll probably list this one. You know, I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it pretty good condition for being over 10 years old and a wool unless there's I'll look closer for any like holes or anything majorly wrong but it looks pretty good this is the limited polka dot sheer blouse this one will probably just get donated what else we got uh banana republic factory petite two petite like whites I don't even know what this material is just like a textured material um if there's no stains on these i could list them especially because they have like a certain fit i've always noticed things that have like the one i had was like a sloan fit or this is the hampton fit uh those sort of so those sort of things they um they do seem to sell pretty well because people will buy them and even if they are older they know like that fit what it's called so they like it and they search for it so i will look these ones up but i'm not super enthusiastic about them um oh american eagle size zero super stretch green corduroys all right don't love them don't hate them wish they weren't a size zero but i do think that these will sell so i will list them 
They look in good condition too, so I'm happy with these. As long as the zipper works, I gotta double check zippers on everything. Zippers, buttons, extra stains, all that sort of stuff, I'll have to double check. Yeah, don't need it. Looks in, looking good. Something that's like pleated. Um, okay, Zara size small. It's this like navy blue, really like shimmery as well. Uh, all over pleated skirt. Probably a maxi skirt, but it could be a midi. It does look a little short. Uh, this is pretty, as long as there's no pulls or stains or holes in it, uh, this one will be listed. I'm happy with this one. Those like all over pleated skirts seem to sell really well, I've noticed. I've sold quite a few of them. What do we got? Uh, beach lunch lounge size small. So some beach lounge beach lunch lounge stuff can sell for good money. Other things I really struggle to move. Um, I will probably list this one. Well, I will list this one just because it's here at my door. Um, it is like a nice. I, I don't. Even, I know there's a name for them. I call them mini stripe. <laughs> uh, like mini stripe pattern. Um, as long as there's no stains or holes or you know obvious major flaws like missing buttons. Uh, this one will be listed. I'm trying to move a little quicker now. I think this video is getting a little bit long. Um, this is the limited black blouse, although it does have sheer sleeves, which is kind of cute. But this one will probably just get donated. It's a little strange, a little out of style. This one. Uh, loft outlet lounge. Looks like an off-the-shoulder romper yeah off the shoulder striped romper this one will definitely get listed i feel like even though it's an outlet and it's a but it's, even though it is loft outlet i think um, because it's a lounge piece it's a romper um it's nice colors as well i think this one will definitely sell so i'm happy with that this one's definitely gonna need some more research i'm pretty sure that says joey but it does have a dry cleaning tag on it let me show you before i just stare at it it is this striped v-neck shirt nothing special nothing special at all but the fact that somebody took the time to get this dry cleaned um, and the tag looks interesting and it has like a little extra embroidery on it i think it's that joey brand but that's like their loungewear division it's kind of hard it's all curled up uh if it, unless it's like some crazy brand which i don't think it is probably maybe 15 to 20 Nothing super special. This looks interesting. Uh, J. Crew extra small, nice, heavy knit sweater, like heavy knit cable knit sweater. Is that a hole? No. Awesome. I'm happy with this. You know, we are moving out of sweater weather, but I don't hate this. It's got some really nice kind of textures to it. Obviously, I'll double check for holes and stains and all that, but um, I'm happy with this one. It is heavy though. It's very heavy knit. All right, uh, Anna Taylor size 18 purple button down. I don't think this one is going to get listed. You know, just regular Ann Taylor button downs. This tag is gone on the side, so I can't even look up a style. This one will just get donated. I'm seeing another eyelet piece. I love these like lace eyelet. Uh, loft size medium. It's a wow, that looks so bright on the camera. It's not quite that bright. It's like a it's like a pinky red, more red, but also pinky as well. This um, eyelet material blouse. This is cute. This one will be sold. Okay, new with tags. Polo Ralph Lauren size medium. This looks. I wouldn't say it's a child size, but possibly maybe a woman's. It looks like a little small for a medium. So it could be a child's. Um, just like a, a top, it says it retail for $90. Um, yeah, I'll sell this one. I don't think I'll get anywhere near $90. Not even anywhere near half of that, but it's okay. We will still list it. H&M uh, Divided, this one's just gonna go to a thrift store, just a tank top or a crop top. Banana Republic, size medium. Another just like plain black blouse. I can see a couple marks on the front, so this one will probably just go to a thrift store. Um, what is this? French Connection. 
Okay, this one's gonna definitely need some research. I really, I know stuff from this brand can sell for good money. Um, it looks like a button down peplum, possibly 100% cotton. Certainly feels like it. Let me see. 100% cotton. Um, there is like a style name and stuff, so I will look it up, but it could sell for good money, but I'm not super hopeful, but I'll definitely sell it. All right. Next up, uh, Vineyard Vines Tucker shirt. I'm assuming it's a men's shirt. I think it's a men's. Oh, actually, it could be a women's. No, I think it's a men's shirt. Um, like kind of like this light bluish green button down. I do like selling Vineyard Vines. I think that it's one of those brands that does resale, sorry, uh, retail for a lot, but the resale is okay. Not great, but not terrible. Uh, size small. I could sell this one. I think, I thought I saw a stain on here though. Hold on. Yeah, so there is a small stain right here. Um, if you can see, what I'll probably do is throw this into my pile of things that I'm going to wash. If the stain comes out, great. Otherwise, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to get stains. Oh, I see another one as well. Yeah, I'll wash it and see if the stains come out. But if they do, then I will list it. Ooh, this feels interesting. Tahari. Okay, so this is Tahari size 12 jacket. This actually looks like a really high quality jacket. It definitely has like a belt as well. Super cool. I'm going to have to do some research on this one for sure. I have absolutely no idea what it would go for, but I'm excited. This one, I don't hate this one at all. I think it's a good, a good uh, piece. Uh, J-Gel size medium petite. I do sell a lot of J-Gel items. I love J-Gel a lot. This looks just like a regular, is it cotton or linen? 100% cotton, yeah. Ooh, I am seeing quite a few stains. Well, one stain on the front. So this one I'll throw in my wash pile, but I will sell it if that stain comes out. It's cute, not terrible. What else do we got? Uh, size extra large gap, just like a regular. It looks like a men's long sleeve. This one will probably just get donated. J Crew extra small. I believe this is one of the newer J Crew tags. This like cursive. I'm seeing a couple like relatively faint stains across the front, but it's really cute. I mean, it's got like this ruffled bottom and like a nice um, top up here. So I'll probably just put this in my OxyClean soak and see if those stains come out. Um, otherwise, I could try and sell it with those couple marks. They do look pretty faint. We'll see. I will have to see if those come out. Anna Republic Girlfriend Fit Size 12 Chino. Did I say size 12? I'm in size two, sorry, size two Chino. These look nice. Um, as long as there's no stains or anything, these can definitely be sold, just like a Chino pant. Happy with those. Uh, J Crew. Oh, okay. J Crew, 100% cashmere. I've never seen this J Crew tag before. J Crew, 100% cashmere turtleneck sweater. And you know what? I think I'll have to look very closely for holes, but I'm not seeing any. This is something that's pilling all over it. Uh, H&M Basic, it's a junior's, uh, it's 12 to 14 years old dress. So much pilling everywhere. This one's just gonna go to a thrift store. Um, American Eagle Outfitters, these ones are, uh, you know what? I was gonna say these go into a thrift store, but these are very like Y2K style. There's no date or anything on here. I'll look it up, you know, like these mini shorts, low rise. People are really loving this right now. Um, not me, but <laughs> some people are really loving these type of shorts right now. So I will, I'll look these up. I feel like these could be sold, but may go to the thrift store. That's still debatable. Next up, we have a loft Swiss dot blouse uh, floral, I think, you know, the tag is over here where it looks like this. So I don't know. It could be like a reversible one. Um, yeah, I could sell this one. You know, I wouldn't pick it up at like the bins or anything, but sellable. Not terrible. Not ter terrible. <laughs> 
another one. This feels interesting. Um, oh, okay. Free People, a very old Free People tag before they started using the little like copper plates. Um, a dress. Yeah, this one could be sold. Probably not. Um, I will I will definitely, I'll probably list this one, but if I made like $15, $20 on it, I would be really happy because just because it's such an old style, um, I probably won't find any sort of stock photos, no information about it. I probably won't be able to find any comps, but we'll see. I will definitely look. I'll definitely list it, but I'm not expecting much for it. Um, this is cute. Uh, loft size small cheetah, kind of like a pinky dress it does have a waist tie on here this is cute i can definitely sell this this is nice i like this i will sell this one for sure uh, ann taylor factory just like a plain shirt with like a pineapple stuff on it this one is just gonna be uh donated to the thrift shop let's see what do we got a tiny little skirt Oh, Brandy Melville. So I don't love Brandy Melville clothes, but I do know that their things do sell well. I have sold quite a few Brandy Melville pieces, so I will probably be selling this one. Little Brandy Melville skirt. Uh, this one looks like it's going to be donated. A really old Lucky Brand. This one's going to be donated. What else? Uh, Banana Republic, size small, like a tiny little cardigan. This one will probably also be donated. It does look a little bit too worn. I'll look it up and see if I can find any comps for it, but it may just be donated. It looks a little too worn for me. Um, a Gap size, extra small, just like a plain sweater with like three-fourth sleeves. This one will probably also be donated. I just think just regular tops are not gonna sell well. Uh, Banana Republic straight leg size two, kind of blue chino pants. I think I'm happy with these ones. I think these, as long as there's no stains or flaws on this one, um, these could definitely be sold. Uh, we'll definitely need to steam, but once they're all steamed up, they'll look a lot better. But yeah, I'm happy with these. Probably wouldn't expect much, maybe 20, 25. Um, if it's like a really popular style, I have gotten like close to 30 for, did I say Banana Republic? Yeah, I have gotten close to 30 for Banana Republic, uh, just like trouser pants before, so we'll see. We will see. Uh, Torrid size one, just like a smocked top with lace sleeves. I don't love selling things that are torrid, that are below the torrid size two, so anything uh, two X or toward two and below seems to sit a long time for me. So I probably won't be selling this one, but I could list it. But then again, maybe 15, 15 bucks, maybe. Vince Camuto size extra small purple blouse. I will list this one, um, but I really wouldn't expect more than like 15 bucks for it. Okay, so this is a Joey. Oh no, I'm seeing a big stain on it. This is a Joey. I don't even know what this like texture is. This like textured sweater, zip up jacket, um, not sweater, but I am seeing some serious stains all over here. There's this one on the sleeve. There is more of a lighter one all here on the front. If you can tell, I think it's kind of hard to see. Um, <sighs> I can't sell it as it is. What I'll probably do, soak it in OxyClean if I can. I don't even know if this is like the right material. I have to figure out how I could possibly clean this one. Uh, but if it's going to take a lot of time, probably not going to bother. But that's a pity because this is a really cute jacket. And I feel like it could sell for good money. But we'll do some research, try and get those stains out. We will see. We will see for sure. My battery is dying on my camera. I'm so close to finishing. Okay. Uh, Gap, this one's probably just going to a thrift store. Looks a little bit too worn for me. Okay, sorry, the camera died. Sorry to redo the batteries. Um, this one, uh, American Eagle, this one's probably going straight to a thrift shop. As you can see, hopefully the camera actually picks it up. 
just absolutely covered in pilling, so I'm not even gonna bother with those. And the very last item is a Michael Kors size small blue, kind of like a basic blouse with like a lace sleeve. I could list this one, but even if I did, would it sell for $10? Maybe, maybe not. Um, so it'll probably just get sent back to a thrift store. And that is the end of this box. I'm gonna start putting it all back in here so I can bring the next box in. But I do think that this box was definitely better than box two, which was the last video that I filmed. Um, still not like, um, kind of like what I was expecting, right? Um, a lot of Loft, a lot of Banana Republic, a lot of like the mall brand type stuff. Um, a couple nice pieces. Was there an Eileen Fisher one in here? A couple new Tags pieces. Um, so I'm not disappointed. Um, I think that I will definitely make my money back, possibly um, even double or triple my money, depending on how much I actually list from this box. I'm going to try and list as much as I can. I don't want to send, you know, too much of this stuff to the thrift store um, if I don't have to, because obviously it's here. Um, I might as well and technically I've paid for it, right? So I want to try and get as much money back as I can on this box. But I'm going to go ahead and start filming box number four, which is the final part. Hopefully I can get through it. It's like I've been filming for hours. It's like three o'clock already. So hopefully I can get filming before it gets dark. Um, but I really hope you like this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Language is your time and attention.